Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can have rope physics or cable physics in Unreal Engine 5 like this. Let me play this. And you can see there is a ball attached to this rope and when we hit it, it will move like this, right? So let me show you how you can do that. This hair on my character is from last video that we did talk about hair physics and that dark hole is from my video about Niagara system. Okay, so without any further ado, let's begin. So before we start, please, 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 if you want to help me, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for showing you the ropes and all its setting and how you can play with that let me go to window and in here just choose this place actor so you can you have access to all of your actors and blueprints in here like i have in here so if i click in here i can add the cube of course we could just do it in here go here and add cube or whatever we want to add but when we dock it right over here it will be easier to access them so first thing to do, let's just go to all classes and in here there is something that is called cable actor, okay? If you drag and drop it in your scene, right off the bat you can see there is a rope in here that we can use it, right? So we add this to our scene and if we click on it and go to cable component, you can change the end location like this, okay? To wherever you want and there will be physics applied to it, okay? And again, let's just go here and show you some important things in here. In here, let's just collapse everything, click on all so you can see everything in here. First of all, there is transform that you can change the location. You know it by now. You can set the material for that. I don't want to do that. You know it by now. But in the cable, you can see you can attach the start and attach end. Okay. So if we uncheck this attack, attach start, the start of this rope will be loose. And you can see it how it works. Okay. And like attach start, there is attach end. If you uncheck this you can see the end of that will be loose right so again let's just click on that you can attach something at the end of this rope right so this is the end of this rope and we want to attach something to it right let's just add a sphere to our scene like this bring it up a little bit click in here so you can bring it up a little bit let's just change its size to be a little bit smaller and i want to put the start of this to here it's just for presentation right so let's just do that and at the end of that i want to attach another sphere you can see this is a start if i uncheck this attach a start you can see this is the start and the end is here and i want to attach something at the end this sphere at the top at the attach a start it's not attaching to our rope it's just for showing you right and now i want to add another sphere here and because i want it to be exactly below this let's just click on this sphere and copy its location and paste it for this big sphere in here and let's just bring it down on z-axis and now you can see it clearly now i want to attach the end of this rope to here okay for attaching that let's just click on this rope and after that it, on this attach end to expand it and click on this pick actor from scene and select this one and now you can see it is attached but with some offset why is that because at the end location we have some offset so this is the amount of offset that i want it to be zero at this time so it will be at the middle of second sphere in here and for this sphere i want to enable physics so let's just click on that click on physics in here so we can find it easily on this simulate physics check it and know if we play it you can see it fall down and it cause our rope to stretch so this is not what we want it, it can stretch a lot right so you can see it clearly it's it doesn't have real physics on it right right so let's just add something else to it when you want to attach two physical ob objects together it always better to use physics constraint okay and for adding that let's just go to all classes and in here search for physics okay and the most important one is this physics constraint actor and in some engine you can call it joint they call it joint right so let's just drag and drop it in our scene no that is selected let's just go to transfer and paste the location that we copy before so it will be at the middle of this and let's just bring it down a little bit so you can see it clearly this is our attach point or physics constraint or you can call it joint right so now that we have this if you click on it and go and collapse everything in here so we can see it clearly if you go to constraint you can see you can connect two actor to this physics constraint first actor let's just connect it to 
this sphere at the top and you can see the red box is in here and this will be our pivot point right so, and the next actor will be the actor that can move and if we select it you can see this is blue it means that it can move right so let's just play again and know if we head over object like this you can see it works as a rope that can't be stretched but you can have a stretch for that as well so for this rope to be able to stretch you can have some option in our physics constraint if you click on your physics constraint and go to linear limits and right now all of them is locked but for example in z motion we want our rope to be able to stretch right so click on this z motion and change it to limited and the limits that i want to use for example 50 right so let's just again run and now you can see it is stretch more and if we increase this value to something higher you can see that it go falls down and it can um, stretch right now but at a limitation right it can't go far from that right so you can see it bounces back when you try to stretch it a lot more right another thing that i want to talk about this physics constraint is in these angular limits and if you expand it right now all of them are free it can rotate in all direction but you can limit that or lock it right so if you lock it like this and play the physics constraint if you move this it try to bounce back to the zero rotation and you can see no matter how much force i put in there it will try to put it at the same base location right so again in here you can make it limited for ex for example this twist if i limit it to 180 you can see it here so it it can move like this right so if you play our game right now if we put it like this it will go here and here but at the other property it won't allow it right now so you can see it here right so again let's just go here and change the linear limit to be locked for everything okay so it won't stretch and you can see it it won't be able to go to all direction it's just the direction that we make it free or be limited right so guys that was it for our row physics or cable physics you can use it in a lot of way with this physics constraint but in this video i just wanted to show you all about ropes and how you can use physics constraint with ropes right please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye